Hi, I'm Brad Pfeffer from Sugar Research Australia. In this can clip, we're going to talk to a couple of farmers who have recently entered the industry, Tim Bone at Mackay and Damien Worth at Innisfail. We're going to talk to them about some of the things that they have done to help them improve productivity since starting out in the industry. My wife and I bought the farm in conjunction with her mum and dad in 2010, started 2010. Um, originally grain growers from, from out in Dysart there. Um, yeah, so we, we invested some money in, in the sh to buy the farm obviously and um, yeah, we've been here ever since. Yeah, look, we bought the farm and it was run down um, and obviously had to learn pretty quick um, because we, I didn't, we, we didn't have any knowledge of growing sugarcane other than what, you know, you do a bit of research online or whatever, watch some YouTube videos. Um, so yeah, we just had to build our knowledge pretty quick, but we looking at some of the information we got, we had to change varieties, and because um, there was some really old returns, so we thought, well, that's the best way to lift productivity quickly. Um, we had a couple of wet years, so we had a couple of fails with, with our plant cane crops, but um, we, we, we've started picking up our productivity now. And we're not where we want it to be yet, but we're, we're on the right track, we think. Um, we've, we were a single row 1.6. Um, now I'm a, this this last planting season, I've done half our plant planting um, to 1.8 dual row, and I'm looking to go to all that now, convert the whole farm to that. But I think it's less compaction on the stools one, um, less less work for me in the paddock. I'm hoping to cut out a few passes and I'm still hoping to increase some productivity. Um, it'll be better for the, uh, I'm hoping some harvester, some reduces in fuel usage from the harvester. Yeah, I've driven a harvester um, for a large Maroni grower here for the last two seasons and um, he's been dual row for a few years now and I could see the benefits. He's got single row 1.8 compared to dual row 1.8 and there was Lots of differences there in in return length plus tonnage. Um, also, when it did get wet, I could see that we weren't making very little damage to the stool. And you're saying before you've introduced some new varieties. What are the varieties that? Ah, uh, we've gone 242. We've got a, quite a fair bit of light sandy soil here, um, and it seems to be once you get it established, it, it's pretty good. Um, also, it's good for Pachymetra. We're, we're, we've had quite a lot of 208 on our farm, so we're trying to reduce the Pachymetra count. Um, we're 240 as well on the better country. Um, still 208, and I've started planting a bit of 252, which is um, partly 208. Um, and the, the block I did harvest that last year had some really good sugar and good tonnage, so I'm hoping that might be a good variety. Um, and we've still got some 1 through 8 and a bit of 183 as well. trying to do everything together so that I can get the best return, best return for my money uh, and the best um, return out of the crop um, that, that's coming through each time and still be able to look after the land and, and you know, making sure that I'm doing everything right to, to, to keep the ground at its optimum level. It's been, it's been, a, been a steep learning curve. Um, I've enjoyed um, learning and, and going through it has been certainly been a challenge to uh, get through and, and to do all the bits and pieces that we've had to do um, in the time so which has been great and you know having had some of the trials as well happen on the property um, that's been fantastic too because I've been able to learn a lot more about the different types of weeds and weed pressure that I'm facing um, and, and how those weeds react with the cane and what's the best sort of chemicals or the best way to manage those, whether it be chemicals or be in a mechanical um, version to, to remove them and, and to get rid of them. Um, putting some of the land back into cane um, after it's had a break for quite a while, um, when you're, you know, you're talking, you're going through a paddock of guinea grass and that sort of stuff that's over six feet tall, um, that's quite considerable um, to have to try and work and manage that, um, get that down, knock that in, um, and then be able to control that weed pressure that's there. It never ends, and it'll be a long process. Like we won't, we won't, I won't get it fully clear for I reckon probably around that four to five year mark. 
um, before I actually get on top of, of everything that's there. And you know, some of those weeds that when they seed, they can be up to seven years. You're, you're managing and looking after that weed in the process.